docket this morning. What else it's about time for? Donald Trump <laughs> back in a Manhattan courtroom as jury selection resumes in a historic criminal trial. The former president faces 34 felony counts related to hush money payments to cover up an alleged affair with Stormy Daniels. He denies all of it. Robert Costa was in the courthouse for yesterday's proceedings. Robert, good morning. Good morning. Former President Trump continues to have tensions with the New York judge here in this case as day two begins. The former president just arrived here in lower Manhattan at the criminal courthouse, and the judge has said he has to be here every day when a jury is in session. That's the rule. Donald Trump was defiant Monday as he became the first former president to face criminal charges. And we're not going to be given a fair trial. During the proceedings, Trump appeared irritated at times and bored at others, even appearing to nod off at one point, but perked up as potential jurors entered the courtroom. Out of the first batch of 96 prospective jurors who were sworn in and questioned, more than half were excused, many after saying they could not be fair and impartial. Trump is accused of scheming to funnel payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels through his former lawyer Michael Cohen in what prosecutors say was an attempt to stop an alleged past affair from becoming a scandal just before the 2016 presidential election. Trump has denied both the affair and making the payments. The trial is likely to feature testimony from key witnesses, including Cohen and Daniels, along with former White House aide Hope Hicks. Last week, the former president slammed Cohen and Daniels on social media, calling them sleazebags. Attorneys with the Manhattan DA's office asked the judge to hold the former president in contempt for violating a gag order. A hearing on that will be held later this month. It's a scam. It's a political witch hunt. Throughout the day, Trump sent out a blizzard of fundraising appeals blasting the case and criticized the judge for not allowing him to attend a U.S. Supreme Court hearing next week on his presidential immunity claims. He thinks he's superior, I guess, to the Supreme Court. we got a real problem with this judge. All right, so uh, we heard a little bit of what the former president was like in court, but you were actually there. I mean, did he really, like, it appears that possibly fall, fall, sorry, fell asleep? Well, we can't get inside former President Trump's head about exactly what his sleep state was or was <laughs> not, but we do know that we visibly saw him close his eyes, dipped his head, dropped his chin. He appeared, at the very least, to be resting his eyes, but it... it portrayed someone as a defendant who was dismissive of the process yesterday. Uh, really frustrated with the judge, New York Judge Juan Mershon, frustrated with the prosecution. And when he emerged out into the hallways, vented to reporters about the proceedings. So speaking of venting, uh, Donald Trump has already been accused of violating the judge's gag order, which bars him from making public statements about witnesses. What happens if the judge decides that he actually did violate that gag order? He would face potentially a $3,000 fine and other sanctions could be on the table. What's interesting here is that Trump's a federal candidate, as we all know. He's running for the presidency again. He's the likely Republican nominee. And at the same time, he's facing this gag order in this New York criminal case where he's allowed to talk about the judge. He's allowed to talk about the district attorney, but he's not allowed to talk about witnesses such as Michael Cohen, his former fixer, Stormy Daniels the porn star who got the hush money payments back in 2016. And Trump's testing the bounds of what he's able to say. And he has said repeatedly that as a candidate, he has First Amendment rights to say whatever he wants, but he could still be sanctioned for doing so. Um, the former president is required to be in court in person for at least six more weeks. Um, he's campaigning as well. Now, I know he's got the weekends, and I think maybe he's got Wednesdays, but this has got to sort of take a bite out of, out of his campaign strategy. Logistically, this is a nightmare for many Republicans who want to see Trump on the campaign trail competing with President Biden. For the presidency, Trump now has to be in New York. He has to be sitting in this courtroom whenever the jury is in session. He has to make this something where he's in court, whether he's asleep, not asleep, closing his eyes or not. He has to be here. That's what the judge is saying. And so as much as some people on the right might dismiss this case, 
think it's nonsense. What's not nonsense is at least the time that it eats up from Trump's campaign schedule. Indeed. Rob, Robert Costa, thank you very much.